So for this demo, I want to go through how you can create a finish schedule in Revit. Now, the first thing that I want to have had done is to go through and create rooms and add my room tags. Um, so I'm going to need that information to insert into the, the schedule, because we're going to do this based on a room schedule. So I've got that in already, at least for a few rooms, just for an example. So now I'm going to go to the View tab. And I'm going to look for this Schedules pull down. I'm going to select it and hit the Schedule Quantities. I'm going to scroll down here until I get to Rooms. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, retitle this Finish Schedule. And then I'm going to click OK. And now what I'm going to get are these series of fields, and these are kind of pre-populated uh, ones that are already built in. Uh, we can also create some new ones. But the first things we're going to start with are the number, room number, room name. I'm going to go to floor finish, base finish. Now the next thing that I would want to put in this schedule would be um, the walls, but I want to be able to call out the walls by north, south, east, west wall so that I can indicate the finish on each of those walls. So I need to add some additional fields because those aren't included here. So if I click on this button here for new parameter, I can put in a new name. I'm going to just call it north. And I want to come down here to type of parameter and change it to text. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to select another one. I'm going to call this one South. Change from length to text. OK. Another one. East. Text. And finally West. Text. OK. And then um, I'm going to add ceiling finish. And I think that's all I need for right now. And then I'm just going to click OK, and it's going to create this finished schedule. So now what I want to do, I want to have a header above the north, south, east, west, indicating that those are the wall finishes. So I'm going to select these cells here, right click, and go to Group Headers. And then it's going to give me this kind of common uh, header above them, and I can just call this Wall Finishes. So now, once I've got this created, I can go ahead and fill in the information. And I can do that either here in the schedule, or I can go back in and pick each room and put in the information there. So, um, and it kind of depends a little bit. Sometimes it's easier to do it when you're looking at the plan. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into my plan here. And I'm going to go into the conference room. And I'm going to look at my uh, different parameters that I've got here. So I want to fill in my floor finish, and I'm just going to say it's carpet 1, um, ceiling finish, I'm just going to say acoustical tile 1, um, wall finish I'm not going to add, base finish I'll just say it's a rubber base, and then I'm going to go down to, or actually up to where I've got my parameters that I added. So my north wall, let's say that's got an accent color on it. I'm going to call that paint 2. Whoops. Um, for the south wall, I really don't have um, paint because I've got glass. So I'm just going to put a, a, um, a dash in there. Then for the east and the west, I'm going to call those both whoops, paint 1. and paint one and then just hit apply. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in, let's fill in some for the waiting area here. Find my room parameter here. Oops, there it was. And again, I can fill in, um, I'll start with the wall since I'm right here. So my north wall, let's say I want that to be PT3. Uh, my south wall, I really don't have a south wall, so I'm just going to put in a dash. Uh, the east wall, 
let's say that's going to be PT2. And then the west wall, again, I don't really have a west wall, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in a dash and hit apply. So now let's go back into our finish schedule and you can see that it has populated the information uh, that I need in those uh, categories that I've created. And you can um, you can add as many categories as you want to. For example, uh, for the ceiling you may want to add a column that gives you the ceiling height in addition to the ceiling finish. Um, you can separate the uh, the columns and, and put in that it's carpet and that it's carpet one, you know, you can you can add whatever information you want to to customize these schedules. Now once you've got the schedule made, all you need to do then is I'm going to make a new sheet and I'm going to use my 22 by 34 sheet and then um, you'd bring the, the finish plan on there and then you can also then just drag the finished schedule right onto your sheet and place it. So that's how I would go about um, creating the finished schedule. You know, use the the fields in the the room category, and like I said, you can customize it however you want to. You can even go in. You know, you can go into this finished schedule, and if you want to have uh, the information centered. Uh, you can come in here and align, so you can kind of play with how you want the, the schedule to look uh, but and add whatever information you want to add. So hopefully that helps uh, with creating the, the finished schedules.